Hey guys, Kito here and welcome to another part of Your Truck Simulator 2. So, we are still in Calais at the hotel where we stopped last time and um, let's see what we can get from the fright market. So, let's see. Okay. Well, I would say let's saw the um, forklifts. It will give us the most money to Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, so let's start up the truck and let's get going. So I know there wasn't a spin tire um, episode yesterday on Monday. That's because I don't have feeling uh, well to record. But um, I will try to get a spin tires episode today. Maybe with a buddy of mine. So one of my buddies, or actually two of my buddies have uh, get spin tires, which is awesome. And um, yeah, so maybe we can get in game. So that will be a good opportunity because playing spin tires alone is really hard, especially if you have get things to talk about or something like that, or you are getting stuck. So you have got problems uh, to unstuck yourself if, there, if there's not a tree or something. And um, yeah, so hopefully I can get them in game. That would be really awesome. So let's touch the trailer. Hook it up. And let's see, so the, let's drive it forward. So the indicators are working, backlights are working too, brake lights are also working. Nice. And the high beam, not high beam, the um, beacon is also. Um, functional, same as the front. High beams are working too. And, um, yeah, let's get going. So, I don't know if you um, know him, but um, what was his name? I think it was. Um, Alexia, that guy on Twitter, <laughs> Twitter, no, that guy on Twitch, who is making live streams of the multiplayer mod for ETS2, and um, I've watched him yesterday, where he was actually, if I'm getting that right, testing cars for multiplayer. And if that's right, then maybe we will get some cars into multiplayer, which would be awesome. But also there would be many many problems if we are getting cars into multiplayer, because of my experience, I don't. I think most of uh, the ETS2 drivers are playing on the. Um, uh, European server for um, yeah playing on the European server so that's the thing I have played on the European server just a couple of times lately because um, let's say I was a bit uh, getting tired to don't have any people around me but the problem is with the um, 
with the um, European server is there are almost 2,000 people and there are always often 10 people in one city and from my personal opinion people not all people but most of the people uh, at the uh, European European server driving like shit. That's my opinion. They are not well drivers. For example, you are driving on the road, truck is coming in front of you in your lane and then somebody wants to overtake the truck and just goes for it, even if they uh, see you and uh, then the crash is um, just the crash will come because in uh, my case there was that thing so I was driving my lane he, he, the guy that wants to overtake just took his chance and um, get into my lane with 90 kilometers per hour which would be 55 miles I think and um, yeah then I want to uh, drive in the ditch but he thought he would do the same to just get around me but that's just a reaction of people how they react if there's something coming in front they will just take um, they will just pull over because they think they will just run straight ahead uh, which wasn't the case and so we just crashed hard I ended up with 100% damage on my truck, 76 damage on my load, and that's really frustrating. So that's the thing that I don't like about the European server. Um, but it's always nice to drive with people who take this game serious. You just don't think they have to speed to get to um, to get to their destination. That's always a uh, nice thing. And also, if there are people that run into you or spawn into you while they are just um, getting in game, uh, that was just the case with when I played with my buddy Jonas. He was driving behind me and then someone locked in in front of him and then the um, the crash was um, there with him. So uh, which a uh, nice thing was that guy who just locked in was really sorry and tries to help him out, uh, tries to give them money, him money for the damage uh, which is Sadly not the case, you can do that. That would be awesome if you can transfer uh, money uh, to other truck drivers. But um, yeah, but these people are really... Um, I like these people because they are really... Yeah, maybe it's the wrong word, but they're suffering from what they are doing. And they are not completely um, assholes in some cases. And so yeah, that's the thing of my opinion, but um, yeah, it was really cool to see uh, if that's true that he was testing cars. Um, and also, there were um, electronic, uh, electronic signs on the freeway, so uh, for example, if a traffic jam is coming up ahead, the display will um, show the um, traffic jam sign or how fast you are able to go. And um, yeah, so that's what I've seen. Also, some mud on the roads. But I think. I could be wrong because he was just um, saying 
Also, he is driving a DTSM map mod. Maybe they have just included DTSM with... Um, oh, I should shift down. Maybe they have included DTSM with the um, uh, multiplayer mod. So, and just for testing. But I have to say the TSM mod, uh, map mod is really nice. Also what they have done there with this big... Uh, I can go up to 60 when I'm not driving up to 60. With that um, big terminals there that they have put into. And, um, yeah, so maybe that's also a thing that I can tell you. Uh, I will set up my PC uh, new so I will just remove everything of my um, hard drive I think it's hard drive uh, yeah I move everything uh, or I remove everything from my PC and then I will get Windows 8 on my PC and I will just change that at the time I have my um, games on a um, extra hard drive that I can put on my PC. But um, it worked; out, uh, it's working out great. But from what I figured from some uh, friends of mine, they said games are running better if you are, have them on your main hard drive. Which is, I think, could be uh, good the case. I'm not that into computers. But, um, yeah, if that's so, I will maybe getting some more frames. And if that's the case, I will be able to, uh, or I should be able to run mods. So, there could be ch uh, changes up like, I am able to run the TSM map, uh, TSM map mod or I'm able to just uh, run truck mods um, like some American trucks which I've tested which was not the case but if that would be awesome that would uh, if that would be a, um, a thing that would be really awesome also I have just about another um, another thing to do so just change the way how I'm playing this game not big but there's a thing what I would just try to test it out you will see that if I can um, go ahead and do that And, um, yeah, so that uh, that's a really uh, short update, what I'm going to do. And, um, let's just make another quick update at our load. So, now, what do you, what we are hauling, I've already said that, we are going to Rotterdam. WGCC. Uh, we will get 8,847 euros for that. And it will take us, or the remaining time is 7.5 hours. We have to rest in 8 hours and 20 minutes. So that will work out. And the trip is taking us. Uh, from now on, 170 kilometers, and it will take us 2 hours and 35 minutes to get there. So, let's just speed up. Um, as you may notice, the truck has a little bit more steering to the left. That's because um, my... Uh, wheel I've just used it a lot and now the wheel was just sticking it's really just a millimeter to the or it's one or two millimeters to the to the left and it just affects the track 
uh, the truck like that and um, yeah that's the reason why I am just steering to the left a bit so I have to hold against it which is not a big deal unless the truck is um, or the wheel is running properly let's turn on the hazards so um, that's also a thing that I've um, noticed uh, I never have seen that in uh, Germany that we are turning on the hazards at uh, curvy roads but I've seen it in a couple of times in the um, US I don't know if every state uh, every truck driver is going to do that or if that's a law or something but I've seen that they are turning on the hazards if they are going down uh, curvy roads so maybe some of you guys or even if you are a truck driver and watching that maybe you can tell me uh, if it's a law or something um, also I've seen that you guys putting on your hazards if you are going to jake break and um, yeah interesting thing would be um, I don't know if I've mentioned it but uh, are you guys still using your CBs down there uh, a lot or are you just um, talking like the truckers in the 70s and 80s like there's a bear running westbound on I-64 uh, or something that would be interesting to know if you are still um, talking like that I know we, are, we don't talk that often uh, with our CBs in Germany that's mainly because um, in the past we have used that a lot but uh, you know nothing against truck drivers but truck drivers in that case can grow uh, or can be um, children and uh, so they're just going to use CCB and doing some things like that Mwah. So, or uh, they're yawning in that thing and something uh, and things like that, which is just a bit stupid, I think. And, um, but also, in Germany, we don't have that uh, Pacific own language, um, which you guys have there in the US and Canada, which is awesome. And, um, it would be interesting to know if you are talking like that still and another thing that I can talk about that just happened to me yesterday there was a time that I was um, locked in on Steam and um, then I was then I would like to play your truck and Steam just says I don't have any games so I just have or I should um, install them all which was really stupid first thing I would thought is um, okay maybe the um, hard drive the extra hard drive is not put into my PC or it's just sticking a bit out so um, the PC can't um, um, Registr register it I would say um, so I thought about that and I put it out and put it in oh slow down um, which was the case either so then Steam told me I should try to um, do up a restart which I've done nothing happens and the only thing that I uh, have really done was um, just uh, locking out in Steam manually and logging in and then my games were suddenly all there. And, um, yeah, just a strange thing, but Steam often has these kind of bugs.
so yeah stuff like that and also I want to uh, I was have record a video on Sunday because the weather and the weather wasn't so great and it's not uh, that great right now so pretty much um, from Sunday to now it's just raining uh, let's get gas here and so I just thought I go ahead and record and uh, I've recorded that game just about 30 minutes uh, I will upload, le uh, upload that maybe today or in just a couple of days and um, yeah the thing was it just wants to took me um, okay. The upload shit took me eight hours, so that's a really hard time. So eight hours. Uh, I never had that problem before. That it has me um, a video of mine should be. Uh, 8 hours long to upload so that was really confusing so I've stopped it and um, yeah I hope it won't do the same thing where are you coming from buddy? from that one? Okay. normally they would drive on that alley there um, yeah but that was just a thing which I was really confused about mm, because normally I've got a ping nearly to um, 9 um, and also there were times where I had a ping from 1 from 1 and I had super good upload and stuff like that I know how you count that back there in the US but um, here in Germany um, we count and we count it so we have got a 3000 uh, 6016 up to 100 or something and um, that's just a thing we counted in that how fast the internet is and personally I have got a 16000 which is quite good so, um, yeah, that was really confusing. I hope it won't do that uh, this time. Also, I feared Bux had that problem too. And it was really awesome that he just all drives all the way down to San Francisco to upload some videos. And, um, yeah, as I see, the time has reached the um, limit. So, next time we will continue our tri trip to Rotterdam. Let's see how far we out. Okay, we have just made quite a distance. Um, um, so yeah, next time we will continue the uh, drive to Rotterdam and um, uh, yeah, like that video if you found what how it was good, and also like that if you would like to see more. Uh, feel free to uh, give me some feedback on my videos. Uh, that's always a nice thing to have. And uh, yeah, you can subscribe if you would like to see more Euro Truck or Emer Emergency 4 or Spin Tires and some random uploads. And um, yeah, with any further say, uh, I will see you guys next time and goodbye.